man what's up to everybody watching this um, i'm gonna make this short and sweet um it's about monique and i'm not gonna lie um before watching this interview she did um with a, a 106 k mail i was very biased towards the situation I was like, Monique, go sit your ass in a corner. You ain't no motherfucking Dave Chappelle, and you ain't no motherfucking Chris Rock. So what makes you think you're going to get what they get? I was like, Monique, sit your ass down. I was like, Monique, sit your ass down. But after watching this interview, um, my thoughts have really changed on the situation. I really support her because she made some, some valid arguments about the situation. And everything the interviewer tried to bring up, she had pretty much a valid rebuttal and a valid, you know, a valid argument as to why she should have gotten more. And like I said, after watching this interview, I support her and what she's saying. It made it made a lot more sense listening to this interview and where she was coming from. Um, I seen like a couple of the other ones she did. I think she was like probably still kind of speaking out of anger and in this interview where she was a lot more calm she she just made a lot more sense as to why she was so for not accepting that five hundred thousand dollars and um i'm gonna play a little bit of the clip right here you really good as your last pro project so when you say well what have you done in 2017 mm -hmm. well it's just 2018 mm -hmm. see in 2016 there was a movie out called almost christmas remember i do i did mm -hmm. see it and then there was a movie out i believe it was a 2016 as well it was a 2017 with Amy Schumer called Snatched. And I just want to give you some numbers. Mm -hmm. See, Almost Christmas made uh, $42 million, mm -hmm. right? Snatched made $45 million. Now, someone would say, well, Monique, that movie made more than yours. That's why she got offered more, right? Well, Snatched cost $42 million to make. Well, what profit was that? Three million. Three million. Yeah. Almost Christmas cost seventeen million dollars to make. Mm-hmm. But it made forty-two million dollars. What profit was that? A lot more than three. <laughs> Twenty-five million. Yeah, yeah. So someone would have to ask, how much more do I have to do? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Like I said, that was one of the the valid points. I don't know how well you could hear that, but that was the girl Amy Schumer, the one that they offered eleven million, and they only offered her five hundred thousand. She was saying, you know, they were trying to say that her previous movie made more money than hers. It did, but that's not the revenue. The movie Monique was in made much, much more revenue because it cost them less to make that movie. And she made some other valid points, you know. Um, you gotta really listen to the interview. And I think for a lot of people, you have to ask yourself, especially black people, black men, women, you know, if your mother, like she said, she said this as well in an interview. If it was your mother, she'd been working for a company for 30 years. And, you know, someone who had came in a company after her, you know, 10 years later, who had been there for 20 years, you know, they gave, they gave this person a promotion, paying her 26 times more than what your mother made. And your mother had been there longer and deserved it more. Do you think that's fair? No. And, I like, you just have to really watch this interview. I, I really... You know, I take a different stance now after listening to the interview and listening to her rationale. She made a lot of sense and it's not right. Um, granted, like I say, Netflix, they are 100% entitled to offer her what they want to offer her. She don't have to accept it, you know, but they're not. I mean, technically they are wrong, but on the same hand, you know, they're entitled to make that offer, you know, but I completely agree with her the way she feels, her stance. And, you know, I don't even watch Netflix no more after this because I completely agree with her. Um, but I advise you to check this interview out. It was on 106 K mail. Um, like I say, you may have thought one thing before, but after watching this, you might change your opinion on the whole situation.